Hi everybody, this is Justin Elliott with Elliott's Luxury in the Luxury Live Studio and I wanted to say hello and how are you? I hope you're doing well. I have gotten so very close now to getting everything almost complete and put together now for a wonderful experience for you. I'm so excited to be able to announce the opening of Finally Luxury Live and the Luxury Live app should be in beta by the end of the month. By the end of the month is going to be an anniversary of one of the acceptance for a live selling platform that I'm no longer affiliated with. It was May 31st when I was first accepted, first went live to sell on that particular platform. And so it's kind of a nostalgia and kind of a celebration to, you know, me coming this far in less than 12 months. Started from basically nothing. I was doing a, a completely different business in this particular realm. I wasn't doing much more business than just luxury items. I was selling cars and guns and gold and firearms and things that, you know, go with uh, Oklahoma estates. That is what I used to do in the great state of Oklahoma is uh, liquidate estates. That's what I did. I would go in after a tragic tragedy, uh, maybe someone's death and or, you know, uh, maybe somebody was just moving to a bigger house or remodeling. And so I got to work with over 800 customers. Yes, 800 customers and I did more estate sales than that but I went with 800 different customers there was like 837 something like that different estate sales over a decade uh, and so anyway I'm excited to be out of that business I am no longer doing estate sales I'm excited to tell you about my new business which is basically luxury live um and affiliation with Elliot's luxury uh, for the last uh year I've been selling for a luxury live and I have been working as Lug Elliot's Luxury. On the other platform, I was affiliated with Elliot Sales. And I didn't really know what I wanted to sell yet. I hadn't really tried out luxury yet. And once I started kind of filling out the luxury sector and kind of what I wanted to sell, then I went straight, just head forward to it, everything. I just, I dove right into it, dropped everything what I was doing. I was going, you know, to auctions every single day, buying stuff to flip it and resell it online. And I was doing estate sales and auctions on site. And so you do about one to two of those a month and really, really good ones after looking at, you know, tens of hundreds of them. There are lots of people that call me every single day still wanting an estate sale. And my very first question is, what's the location? How large is the home? And how much stuff is there? Because that is, you know, everything about it. That's going to tell you whether or not you're interested or not, how much your commission you're going to make potentially, and how many people are going to be interested because estate sales have to be something that is an event something that's spectacular. We have to look at each other and go, oh my gosh, did you see that amazing estate sale? Let's go get in the car and go to that estate sale. We don't need a thing, but let's go look at an estate sale and let's go see if we can find something. That's always the allure of an estate sale. So for me, I like really cool estate sales with really amazing extravagant stuff or very unique stuff. Uh, and so it takes a unique kind of person. And I've done plenty of estate sales where the person was a designer, a fashion designer, or were in fashion or were an artist. Those houses are normally the most fun to do because they have a little bit more taste. And I don't mean to say that, uh, you know, uh, disrespectfully, because there will be some people that get disrespected by that. But you, you go into houses and they're just plain Jane and it's nothing spectacular. And, you know, there's a dozen of them on every block. And, you know, it's just not that great. You know, you, I want an estate sale that's going to blow my socks off. And everyone else does too. If you have an estate sale where it's more of a necessity to just get rid of the stuff, donate it, perhaps maybe call in a consignment company. Or just perhaps maybe donate it to Goodwill. That's what most people need to do in an estate sale situation. In today's time, in 2023, most folks don't qualify for an estate sale. If you find a company that will take your estate sale that is completely fine liquidating $5,000 worth, worth of stuff, just realize that they're not going to make much. Not after taxes and advertising and, and putting up with all the labor and all that, that jazz. So I kind of got out of estate sales, not interested in doing that anymore. If you've got a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff and you want me to liquidate it for you, I will definitely do so just in the same professionalism as I would have modest estate. But today, May 1st, today's May 1st in 2023, I'm excited to tell you about Luxury Live. Luxury Live is going to be an app that's going to be launching at the end of May 1st. And um, I say May 1st, May 31st, somewhere around in there. So we've got about 30 days worth of limbo. It'll be a beta for about six months. It's going to be super fun. We're going to sell jewelry. We'll sell purses and uh, designer wear. We'll sell vintage goods, maybe a little bit of home goods as well. We're also going to start deep diving into purse accessories purse accessories. And I'm not just talking about accessorizing your bag. I'm talking about the necessities that we need to carry on our bags in order to make the space useful. So many of us use bags and we don't use all the spaces. We don't use all the pockets. We don't, we, we just don't, we don't use the bag till it's fullest. 
And some of us that love mini bags, we're not able to carry all of the things that we need in our mini bags because the items are so large. So what are we gonna do now? We're gonna make those items go smaller. We're gonna start showing you how to use a mini bag. We're gonna show you how to maximize, minimalize a purse. And so anyway, super excited. Uh, I wanted to just pop in really quickly and tell you, you know, kind of everything about what's going on over here. There's been lots of people that ask me, are you still going to be doing Poshmark? And of course I am gonna do Poshmark as long as Poshmark will allow me to be affiliated with them. I, I have no reason to leave Poshmark. Uh, I really like selling on the platform Platform. the community is a lot different than the other platform and so I kind of feel like I moved up in the world if anything I switched brokers is what I like to say there have been lots of people have asked me you know which one do you prefer and of course I prefer the one that is a little bit uh, more respectful and less unscrupulous of the two uh, there will be a lot of people will say Poshmark is you know not mojo you know uh, and you know, people will say that whatnot is not their mojo either I found my mojo my mojo is a little bit of me and a little bit of Poshmark and a little bit of individuality. And so I feel like, you know, it's my turn to finally get up and out on my own. I am a self-employed individual and I, you know, it's being a third party seller on another platform is a wonderful thing. It is a privilege, not a right. And I feel like we have all kind of seen that these particular platforms will make their rules and they will make their rules when they want to and they will also apply the rules when they want to. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you shouldn't really worry about it. If you are a reseller, I think you all know what I'm talking about. We will go a little bit further in depth to a little bit of, you know, my opinions on live selling and the direction of luxury live app and how I'm going to use my experience selling live first on Facebook, then on Instagram, then on whatnot, and then on Poshmark. Again, I've been selling on Facebook literally within someone's home for years and doing tours of their entire home where I had a cameraman where I was speaking to the camera and we were going through people's houses and discussing what was for sale and I was talking about, you know, Frank Alma and art glass. We were talking about Viking and LE glass. If you don't know what this kind of stuff is, I am required to know the lingo and the names of certain vintage items throughout people's houses. These folks that are doing estate sales, they're 50, 75, sometimes in their 90s. And they have things from their grandparents, their grandparents, and you have to be able to trace these items back and be able to, you know, be pretty savvy on the values of them. Because the majority of the people that shop estate sales are resellers, not people that want your item. It's just kind of eye-opening to a lot of people, I feel like, who shops your estate sale, why they come to your estate sale, and why they are actually wanting to come to your home, pick up your used items, and then take them somewhere. And nine times out of ten is because they're reselling them. And so I've already dealt with lots and lots of resellers over my career. I kind of feel like this is a perfect way for me to start selling to people that are end users by being in luxury. Of course, you know, you have your resellers that will come in during an auction during our luxury shows because sometimes we do do auctions. Not necessarily in this room. Everything in here is is been refurbished by me. It's all been authenticated by me. It is ready to wear if it's in this room. I have another room that we'll talk about in about four or five days or so that we are going to be releasing as well. That one is the mid-tier room. It is not sponsored by Luxury Live. It is just an Elliot's luxury room and we are we are selling mid-tier items out of that room. Not necessarily less than, but they are much less than an item in here. Average sale in here is going to be about $840. Average sale over there in that room is going to be about $300. So you've got, you know, a big slew of difference. You know, all these are high-end brands over there. I said, keep on pointing over there because the studio is next door. The studio is about the same size as this room. Different setup. And it is with like Mark, Mark Jacobs, uh, Mark by Mark Jacobs, Coach, uh, Tiganello, Brahman. There are, I think, a couple of Celine's over there. Celine is uh, is in the Louis Vuitton family. And so it's not really mid-tier. I probably should bring that stuff over here, actually. But when we get over there, we'll start to talk about it. And so I just kind of wanted to update everybody as to what's going on over here. Y'all have been asking me so many questions. We're coming on up, up on almost a year since I have not done an estate sale. All of my decade of following of, you know, they've, they've started to be sad and they've started to realize that I've branched out to a new company. And so for those of you that have come and support, supported the new business and have been very vocal as to your support online and watching me and enjoying watching me, I really do appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, and um, ladies, 
I'm about to show time. So if you want to watch me, you can watch me on Poshmark. Once I release my app, I will be letting everybody know. So anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.